Welcome to the chat. This is DF Gaming here, and I just been. Well, I won't say finish. Um, this is D DF Gaming here, and I just been. Well, I won't say finish. Um, this is D I don't know. DF Gaming here, and I just. I won't say it, please. This is the game here. I don't know. We have a game in here, and I just. It's a little delayed. I won't say it, please. This is the game here. I don't know. We have a game in here, and I just. It's a little delayed. I'm here to talk about um, the uh, oh. Watch it Hunter Hunter I got to do the Chamora Ant segment I'm a little bit annoyed I'm here to talk about um, the uh, oh. Watch it Hunter Hunter I got to do the Chamora Ant segment The reason I'm a little bit it's still the same reason I had in my first um, video is the main character is one of the main characters named Gon is a bit hard headed. He puts himself in dangerous situations that nearly cause his life. I'm a little bit it's still the same reason I had in And despite the fact that he's been told several times this is fact, one of the main characters his behavior is going to cost him somebody lives. He puts himself in dangerous situations that nearly cause He still continues to do such a thing. It's right he cannot control himself for some unknown reason. This is fact. One of the main characters his behavior is going to cost him somebody he doesn't know how to control his own emotions and despite them right already knowing this he still continues to act like a crazy person even some even when he has somebody there who got his back he still can't control himself he then he gets his mind on doing something he doesn't do even if it's the wrong decision he keeps he decides he wants to do it anyway. Like a and there ain't nobody can talk him out of his stupidity, the stupidity of what he about to do, and the consequences hit him. And this is why he's been like a protagonist. He doesn't believe it if it's the wrong decision. He decides he wants to do it anyway. And there ain't nobody can talk him out of his stupidity, the stupidity of what he about to do, and the consequences hit him. And this is why he's been like a protagonist. In my opinion, that is, my. Everybody else has more complex, have grown, have developed. It seems like they know how to develop everybody else except for their main protagonist. <laughs> Even Kila has grown to a certain degree. Except for Gon. Every Gon is the same character he's been since the beginning. Hard hitting. It seems like they know how to develop everybody else except Unrational, for unreasonable person. <laughs> Even Kila has grown. Who only has grown but combat ability and not anywhere else. He has not learned to listen. He has not learned to 
consider other people's feelings as to himself what baffles my mind about his character and is the character tight not in the law tight already told him but the risk was when consider other people's feelings followed him but yet he's blaming himself for what happened he, he would have went whether he was there or not I guess we have to understand laws. They don't know what the risk was. It's just like a Simba mode. Follow them. Simba, Simba, it's my fault. He's blaming yeah. himself. Was my what I like? I didn't mean to. It was accident. Oh, they are not. I guess of course we have to understand laws. We didn't mean for these things to happen. No, but the king <laughs> is dead. <laughs> Only been with them for I don't know a short period of time. For which he didn't even remember them until they met again. It just so happened that the last time they met was when he was younger, really young, and that was the last and all of a sudden he wanted me to believe that they were able to attach such a strong bond that he would ignore the friendship he already developed for one person who would have been rolling around in his grave if he found out he was wasting all that potential on his dead carcass. You know Dango Grill Kite would not have won this. He would have punched him and himself if he was still alive. Roll the punch in his face. Okay. Why would they take somebody and punch him in the face? For him to get the idea that he done something stupid. You know Dango Grill Kite would not have won this. Man. He would have punched him and himself. all out if he said I'm gonna die. I don't get out. I don't use that Foolish person, you wouldn't be in the situation you found yourself in if you would have let your friend have your back. But no, you wanted to do it yourself, and now you must suffer the consequences of it. If I was a kid, I would have slapped him until I realized you found yourself in if you would have let who friend have your back. No, His friends really are. You want to do yourself, and now you because he learns that lesson. So I'm smacking into his brain cells because apparently he has not slapped. Learn until I realize. Uh, don't get me the question: Is he actually really sorry for his decisions, or he has just saying sorry so that we are at peace? Because he learns that lesson. So I'm smacking into his brain cells because apparently he has not. Because apparently you got to be the living the daylight time of the lesson. He needs to control his emotions, decisions. It seems like the only way he learns anything is through punch getting hurt really badly. The only way they learn anything is if you slap them with reality checks. If there was a move called the reality check, I would be giving him a what? You know me tears this boy cried. OBM. I thought they were like lovers. The only way they learn anything is it tired the boy has cried. It was a blood tears the be by his side. He has been very loyal despite everybody telling him that he's gonna stab him in the back. This man bled. Said he is bled. Ripped thought every inclination of him that he's gonna in the back to stay by his side. And what does he get in return? Disrespect. He is. He gets nothing. He doesn't get no respect. I'm surprised Kai Kilo stayed by his side as long as he did. When he's better ease. And what does he get in And people say he was thinking straight. I don't know. That's a bad excuse. He don't never think straight. That's the problem. He doesn't get no respect. I'm surprised. Oh, he don't never think. He had never thought. I don't think he would thought. In his entire life, he would never think straight. That's the problem. I'm sorry, he don't. He don't. I don't necessarily like Don as a character. I think he's grown as a fighter, but that's about it. He hasn't grown as a inside yet. 
It doesn't maintain the growth inside. Uh, yeah. Please forget whatever the pops can be. And dick niggas is speaking. This makes no freaking sense. As a fighter. The man's overly confident. He doesn't need to be able to be overconfident. But he is way too overconfident for his own good. He thinks he's stronger than he is. He tends to forget when he has to be able to He being too next road to find his potential. He is fighter. The man's overly confident. He's good. He's unbelievable. But he is way too overconfident. He pulls off. He thinks he's stronger than Things he and he remains, but then he's flawed. And these flaws are not weak flaws, they're very strong, mind you, strong flaws that are kind of turn off. It might be. These are my friends. It doesn't have no effect on my opinion of the show itself. Yes, on his character alone. It can really be hard strong. for me to feel sorry for him for strong for most of the stuff we've been through. I think at the end he put himself off. in those situations you know, that cost him that to be in that situation. That that and why sacrifice your life for no reason? Why sacrifice the gift you were given for no reason? You weren't doing it for a noble cause, you're doing it for selfish reasons. There's no Satan in the carcass. You, you and uh, why sacrifice? You were foolish enough to, to believe we're still living. <laughs> I'm anybody with brain cells knew that he was dead. Okay, everybody, you really thought he was gonna beat that deep thing. You saw with your own freaking eyes. You probably focused, or there's no way he was strong enough to beat that monster at a given point. You knew that he was dead. Okay. Yes. Hard to say. say. You really thought he was gonna be that deep thing. Judge your personal so power. power. They already made this. It's hard to judge your personal power by no way. He was strong enough to be that monster. He probably was. But they underestimated the ant they were fighting. And that was the fatal decision not to be in there. The fatal flaw was you underestimating the power of power who you were facing. I think I didn't underestimate them, but he might have slightly underestimated the, the power of the ants. And at least the ones that Royal Guard, they highly underestimated the Royal Guard power. They done it twice, and it turned out to be a flaw, flaw that might have cost them, hurt them out in the long run. By the ones that made their party, highly underestimated the Royal Guard power. The thing is, let back to my brand wise. Check out my video about Hunter Hunter, my earlier video, when I watched it 20 minutes in. I had watched I did not watch the first section of it, and I had the same exact problem in the English dub that I have the Japanese version. At first, I thought it was they were exaggerating. I thought the English dub was a bit exaggerating 20 minutes in, but they weren't. They might have increased the exaggeration a little bit, but they weren't too off. He is that stubborn. He is that unrational. And he is that big headed. I thought English that was not white. Exactly. They were not joking, and he used that dumb. But they weren't. <laughs> they so increase the exaggeration. It should be a surprise that he acts before he thinks. He, that he doesn't, doesn't he believe that think much. Is that big headed? I thought English that was not white. They were not joking. Man, it's like they were using in the dead more time than that. Eventually, they were running into something that they underestimate or doesn't. And they end up dead. But. This thing likes to play around with physics. <laughs> it did more physics and logic sometimes. And they say they don't disagree. But they do disagree there. This um, thing like the ability she shouldn't have learned. It took 20 years to learn. He learned in like five minutes. Not unless you tell me you're a fast learner. Somebody this with the person with his uh, inability to do the thing. Mary. It's like uh, he does things that without the concern of other people around him. He only thinks about himself. He's at the time. If he wasn't, he probably would have been in a better position if he wasn't so heartbroken over a kind loss. But at the time, there was a time for grief. We didn't even know there was time for grief. We didn't even know there was time for grief. We didn't even know there was time for grief. You didn't even know there was time for grief. One later, he probably would have been a bad after you dealt with the enemy of the boy. Okay, you should have called on some people. She was on way before she started. There was time for grief. We didn't even know there was time for grief. We didn't even know there was time for grief. He was so busy in grief that he gave her enough time to heal up. There was time for grief. 
caught on just so that he can miraculously earn an ability that was so powerful that he could beat her in easily. Are you kidding? He wouldn't have needed to do that if he would have brought back up. He wouldn't have needed to do that if he left his friend who was loyal to him. But the freaking beginning of the show with him, fight with him, he wouldn't have needed to do that. He wouldn't but yeah, I understand why he brought back the mind. I guess that's his presumption. He wouldn't have needed to know if he his friend loyal to I don't like the way he treated his friend killer. As though he's second rate friend. Like, he ain't been here like he just met Killy yesterday. Instead of him being been in my home since the, the moment they came into the hunt. Hunter and Associate, they did the test together. They came out the test together. It wasn't for him. He wouldn't have gotten as far as he got. Him. And this man over here grieving like he lost his mom to some dude he barely remembers. Five. <laughs> It makes no sense to me. <laughs> I thought if Killer would got lost a leg or something, he would be more upset. But he upset because some dude who's close to his father got killed. He just he don't barely remembers when he was young. Give me a break. I'm sorry, no, no, no. My friend. This really been about from the bottom of the show, man. I would be who's close to that bottom. I would be he would have to put him back in the ass he remembers after I get done with him. <laughs> and then what makes Tyson so this stupid kick is he used so much of his men to so do it that he can't use the, They brought this up in the matter that we don't have we not confirmed the suspicion. We clearly don't think or the narration that already tells us that that condition or the getting that power was he would never use it again. It was stupid. I my guess. If you don't have no we don't plan on running to any enemies, the whole point of being a hunter is if you have to have men, you idiot. Stupid. He's just stupid. Dumb. I guess that's Karupika. We're restricting her men to a hunter to catch the spiders. Men. You idiot. Why did you have that? That condition. All conditions. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, at least let it go on top if I can't use it for a year or something. Like, never use again. Why? Why did you get that back condition? I bet you and Dolly found some way of scapegoating this. <laughs> they tied themselves to a bad They put themselves against the one. I think I can figure out a way to sneak their way out of this. Like, there are no other plans of creating new enemies lately. This might be the end of the series, I guess. I don't know. Maybe the Nick died in the fight is father. I don't know. I thought that was the whole purpose. You can't find his father without Nick playing. You freaking dummy. I guess he has some other powers hitting nothing in his sleeve that we don't know about. I don't know. I thought that was the whole purpose. Get I blame myself. I killed him. If I wasn't there, he would be still alive. He would. He would still, still be dead. Okay. Same outcome. Yeah, we understand this. The fact of the matter is this: it's always the same thing. They always go for the blame themselves. This man has come out here and stop the living daylight from him. No, it's not your fault. Still not their fault. They were operating as a basic instinct. Y'all got near the nest. You know what happens when you get near the nest of an ant? They attack. So they always go to the blame for this. Except for yourself. Okay, King Dixie speaking. Don't blame me on everybody. Their fault. They were operating. Don't even blame yourself. It ain't your fault. These animals do. These people you're doing, you're doing with that, because you need to intend it for them to do that, to defend them, their own way to blame Now that you know, even if that's the can't be done, you got to do something about that. You can't blame them. You can't blame them. Somebody who's willing to put this, already put this, already willing to put this like down to the line for the work he does. So he wouldn't want you to do that, and he doesn't surely wouldn't want you to do what you did. He would probably punch you twice for doing what you did. Book of times. Bobby beat you around that. Like, well, Bobby slapped him across that room so fast. It's not even funny. Uh, funny what he just did. 
do what you did. It was somebody else. You probably punched you And he kind of found out what about He probably yeah. knocked him out. Because that was stupid. He probably beat you around that. He doesn't, he just does rash decisions for no reason whatsoever. Not catering to the consequences of the acting. It was somebody else. Dude. And he kind of found out what he did. He probably knocked him out. Because that was stupid. He doesn't listen to his friend who's he didn't does close and so called advisor. I don't even know what the point of that is. He just does what the heck he wants to do. Wait, what's the point? He should be a lone fighter by him. I'm starting to ask myself why he didn't add his duty to the first party if he's not going to listen to him. As a friend, he's literally putting this. He's just there to be there. Like, he barely listened to him to knock him out one time to get him to back down. Oh my goodness, I'm just frustrated with, the, with this character, and I wasn't for all the other stuff that was good, I'm barely listening. The only thing that saves it is that everything else was good. It, it, I had to deal with this whole character, I'm just thinking Tiger Shaw, I don't know how to watch this show. This, he's, there's certain things about characters that are my heroes in my shows, and I can't stand that I will call me to stop watching it immediately. And then he envelops most of those traits. I can understand the focus and the determination part. That's fine. It's picketing. Stubborn, unability, inability to be reasonable. Mentality that irritates the living soul out of me and his bad decision making skills. And the way he treats his friends around him. Stubborn, especially his close friends. Mentality that irritates the Living so I just can't dig it, man. Bam. Bam. She make it skill. She knew I, I was killed. killed I would have bitched them a long time ago. But it's dude. <laughs> I don't need friends like they do not want to like listen to advice. We want to do things their way. It's I their way. I dig it, man. Bam. Bam. He's just like his father. She knew I, I was killed. I would have bitched them a long time ago. Doing things the way he wants to be done. The way he wants to be done. And nobody going to tell him anything different until they end up dead and six feet under the grave. Like he's about to be right now. Technically speaking, like his father. I gotta go. I just take that rent off my chest. Until next time, it's Deep Gaming. Signing out.